Football Group action at Shot In on Sunday. It's Lion of Rock Trophy Day, which is uh, the feature race on an 11 race program. An early start for us 12.15 as well as we take in Yasuda Kino. We've got all covered though here on Racing to Win. I'm Andrew Lejeune, joined in the studio by race caller and four man list for the day, Brett Davis and uh, race caller Tom Wood as well. Tom, it's a bumper program about the Lion Rock Trophy. Um, it's quite an impressive lift to winners on that as well. It certainly is, and uh, one particular trainer's got a, a strong hand in it, uh, John Size. He's got four runners in the race, Denozo, Insatiable, Champion's Way, Red Warrior, who was a, a terrific winner last start. Frankie Law's got a couple of good horses in as well, uh, Simply Brilliant, and also uh, Mission Tycoon, and uh, all the other trainers, more Cruz and you have got three representatives in it as well. They have indeed. Yeah, Zach Pertner riding simply brilliant. That was a prior booking, as I understand. It was, it. yeah. Uh, Brett, uh, what have we got? Anything jackpot wise as well? No jackpots, Andrew, but uh, it's going to be a massive day of racing, of course, with the inclusion of the Yasuda Kanen. Uh, that'll come up uh, between races uh, five and six. S21 will be the code. Uh, no jackpots in the exotics. It's an 11 race card locally, so we've got a really early start, Andrew. 12 15 p.m. Hong Kong time. Uh, there's a lot of debutants as well. It's a terrific solid card and uh, looking forward to trying to find a few winners. We are indeed. Yeah, Joe Moreau and Zach Purton have been dominating in the saddle yes. of late and I'm not sure that's going to change that much on the weekend. We will find out plenty to get through though in the same amount of time so we'll launch straight into the uh, the preview. Starting off though of course with the horses that won't be going round in the fifth event Emerald Spur. Unfortunately is scratched lame in front so Stice Superior takes over there. Jack Wong will be in the saddle and Pingu Spark suffering from a Touch of colic as well, so out of the um, feature race, which is race number nine on the program, the Lion Rock Trophy. As far as this is concerned, there are 11 races, all on the turf. We're on the B course for Sunday's program as well. We kick things off with a class five, the only one on the program. 2,000 metres uh, is the trip, headed by above Neil Callan and John Moore, having his second start in class five, yet to win in uh, seven starts so far. Best effort was a winner, two starts back over the 1,800 metres. Dragon Warriors won two of his last three. They've been over the 1,800 metres though as well. Gorgeous again, runner up last time out behind Fortune Patrol. Young Glory finished third in that race. Proud Sky finished that fourth in that race. He's beaten just over four lengths. Celebration finished fifth there. And uh, Rocket Go, same race again. He finished eighth. He's got barrier one, so I imagine he'll roll forward from that inside gate. Above Best Effort and Dragon Warrior have all been up at Chung in the last month. Tom. Tough old race to start the program. Uh, a few of these, uh, well, a lot of them haven't won over 2,000 metres. Don't think there's any of them have won over 2,000 metres. Gorgeous again's won over 2,200 metres. Uh, five uh, having well, their first go here. Rocket Go coming to this. He served it up with the pace last time out, but they couldn't pull it off with him. Dragon Warrior's been known go forward. Best effort went forward last start, but couldn't hold the lead. And above uh, race handy last start as well, but uh, tough race to open the card. Gorgeous again put his best performance in for quite some time last start. You can see him working here with Lucky Hero, who's won his last two and will be right in the betting, you would think, later on in the card. Nice work uh, down the back stretch for Gorgeous again. Gate two, Joe Marrera's won twice on the horse from four rides. Proud Sky, this is his gallop um, on the 30th. He had one on the 27th as well. He's drawn well, Martin Harley to ride. He's actually got a really good record over the 1,800, not 2,000. And Celebration, now he's having his second run for the new stable of Jimmy Ting. And he's going along quite nicely. They put the blinkers on for his first run and he was noted closing off, but... That can often be the case with him. All right, we'll have a look at uh, celebration in a moment or so in uh, race action as well. We'll start off with Best Effort, who was able to dominate on this occasion from barrier three. This is the gate he's got this time. He did have 10 pounds off his back as well with Alfie Chan. Yeah, and he won on this occasion very well, but uh, last time out, uh, as mentioned before, he went to the lead from that uh, stall uh, of barrier number 11, but he couldn't hold that uh, position uh, in the end. Um, Fortune Patrol was able to win that race, but he got all favours on this occasion. Alfie Chan judged it uh, to a nicety, and he was too good for them. He was, but yes, 12 power more to carry. He's got gate three. He's up to 2,000 metres. Um, you know, it's a short run into that first turn. I don't think things will be quite as easy for him this time. All right, saw so Gorgeous again closing off quite strongly down the outside then. Uh, closed off again here, couldn't quite catch uh, Fortune Patrol, but um, second, third, fourth, fifth and seventh in here. Yeah, I'm going to give Gorgeous again obviously a chance, but I'm going to tip Young Glory actually. I think he's wanted every yard of 2,000 metres for quite some time. This will be his first go at it. He does lay in a lot. We can see it here. We saw it in the last replay as well. But he continually makes ground, as did Gorgeous again. I think if he just sits back, Karis Teton, he's had some experience on the horse now, knows what he's probably going to get up to when the whips are cracking. 
He might be able to close in with the 2,000 metres on offer here and get over the top. Gorgeous again, short though, 1.8, 2,000 well, metres, class 5. Exactly, that's Joe Marrera on a class 5. You're going to have to take skinnies about Gorgeous again, who does look the main danger, no doubt. All right, one more race to have a look at, and that is uh, Romantic Journey, Dragon Warrior and uh, Young Glory. Romantic Journey's thrown in a... A couple of good races here and there. He has from time to time. He got a long way back in this race uh, at uh, Happy Valley over the 1,800 metres, but uh, actually finished off pretty well uh, in that uh, contest when he was uh, fourth uh, at uh, Happy Valley. Um, he stayed on here OK. Michael Chang still looking for those uh, couple of winners to get to that mark of 16. He ran through the line. It was an OK run. Yeah, and Dragon Warrior, he over-raced a little bit in the early stages of that event, which is probably why he weakened out. Prior to that, his form was solid, and Zach jumps aboard, so he's probably worth at least considering. I would have thought. All right, OK, race number one. We do have an odds-on favourite, Gorgeous again in Class 5. You're looking elsewhere, though. Brent. I am. I'm going to make him as the horse to beat, uh, Gorgeous again. But I think Young Glory is a real chance for the racing club here at the 2,000 metres. Sit back and just work into the race nicely. Hopefully he can run a straight line. If he does, I think he can win. I'm going to throw in above. I think second run in Class 5, Neil Callan riding for John Moore. We know how hungry John is for winners. Um, he's going to be a bit of value as well. Then Gorgeous again, who's clearly you know a, a likely potential winner, but at the skinny odds, I'm shopping around him. And Celebration will be running on, and who knows, he might be able to close over the top. But I went with the seven here, seven one six ten. Now on top for me is uh, Gorgeous again, but it's not a race to uh, get a whole lot of uh, confidence uh, about with uh, these uh, Class 5 gallopers, 2,000 metres. None of these have won over 2,000 metres. He's got a little bit of form over 2,200 metres. Best effort goes in. Proud Sky ran an OK race last time out. He's got a win over 1,800 metres, three back. And uh, Dragon Warrior, who was keen last time out, but I'll give him a, a chance here. Six, two, eight and three. Six for me as well. As a four-time winner, I think Gorgeous again is the one to beat. Comes here in form, but uh, I'll be tying up with... Exotics at those sort of prices, 1.8 and your money back, uh, Dragon Warrior, Young Glory as well, shouldn't be too far away. All right, that's the first event on the programme.